Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Replay Mod for 1.17 and a little overview on how you guys can use it. So below it down in the description you guys will find every link that you'll need uh, to get this underway. So here we are, we have everything just up here. First of all, you're going to need to be just launching this through Fabric API which is a different kind of launching software rather than just a standard um, Minecraft launcher. Um, you'll be using everything through the Minecraft launcher but yeah, let's just uh, get downloading this stuff here so we need the fabric api just go ahead and click download just here make sure it's the 1.17 version obviously we'll give it a few seconds and once this is done it should start downloading for us and there we have it we just let that go we just click keep just because it's a jar file your computer might think it might contain some viruses or some like malware that it can change but it's all good from here um, we can download optifabric just means that optifine will be able to talk to the fabric api launcher on the optifine page just go down under the 1.17 or whatever the version is you're currently on and download the latest version just through here if this doesn't work you can click the little mirror link and uh, download it through that and as you guys can see we have it just here so we just click download on that one just there we let it finish doing its thing and just click keep uh, now for the replay mod itself as of this time the replay mod site is currently uh, down just being a lot of traffic heading over there so it currently doesn't work so I'll leave this page and this uh, Dropbox download file as well so this is for the 1.17.1 version uh, if you're watching this at a later date just head over to the replay mod download page and just download the latest one and then from here you just want to go ahead and click download and you should be all good also forgot to uh, mention that we can actually download the fabric loader itself so go onto this website again, it'll be down in the description. Just click this little download here button. It'll take you over just here and download it for the windows.exe. If you're on Mac, then download the universal jar. Um, otherwise not, you just wanna click on this one here and we can open it just here. This little, little box just here will open up. Just make sure you're on the 1.17 version. Click install, it'll pop up saying download is done. Then just press okay, but I've already got it installed, so I don't need to do it again. And now from here you can just download uh and then now from here you can just in your downloads file just select these three plus your replay mod file and drag and drop them all into the mods file and you should be left with something like this. And then from here you're pretty much done. You can just close out all of these, load up your Minecraft launcher. Now down this bottom section here you should see a Minecraft loader 1.17. If you do not have that, click on installations. Press new installation and then go down here and find your release fabric loader 1.17.1 and click on that one and then you should have it just there to go but it should default as long as you didn't have your Minecraft launcher open. If you did just close it, reopen, it should be there. Now let's just jump in I'll show you guys a quick little tutorial over the replay mod. Okay, so say you're here, you want to record some little bunnies, all you need to do is press escape, come down to start recording and press that one there and we can just kind of sit around here and let it run. So it records obviously real time and then in the replay viewer itself we can speed up, slow down, everything like that. So once you've uh, done recording or you want to pause and then come back to it later, you can either yeah, just press pause, resume or just press stop. Once from there, we can just do this, you can carry on, you know, doing some extra things. And then once we save and exit our world, this little saving replay file will pop up. So I'd wait for that to finish. Once that has saved the replay, then press done. Then you can close your Minecraft, but don't close it before then. Uh, wait for it to pop up saying you saved and everything like that. Okay, so as you guys can see, we loaded it and it's at the end of our timeline just here. So all you want to do is just go ahead and click on the start just there. It's going to load it up and get it back to the start. And once it is, it's going to pause us there. So if you want to know how to get your mouse like out, you're just looking here and you're controlling the camera like this. And you try and press escape, it still doesn't do anything. All you want to go ahead and do is press T and that will bring your mouse back up to the area. So let's talk about these couple of bars this here. This one here is your overall timeline, so the whole time you recorded. This here is to play and unpause and the speed that you want to watch it back at. This bit here is for your actual recording, how you want to trim the video and things. So say we wanted to come down here, zoom, shift is down, up is fly, up like same as creative Minecraft controls. Um, so say we want to be here, we, you know, we want to down here record some bunnies, right? So we're going to be down here. We want to go ahead and play this at a two times speed, so we're going to press T. We're going to play it at, at 0.03%, so we get a nice slow-mo version. We're going to go ahead and here add our time keyframe and our position keyframe. So the position takes the camera position and the time takes the time on your actual timeline, not the time it takes to take between. So what we're going to go ahead and do is press play on this top line. 
we want to get a couple of like little things we want to move our camera around and then we can press pause just there so say we want this that section there it only took two seconds in real time say we want to take five seconds we just find five seconds on here we press our little thing and our cursor comes across we add a new time position and a new key position and then we can press play again so press p and we can swing it all the way around here we can do like a big zoom out or something and we can let that go during the whole time and we can let them bounce so we can just speed this up if you want to just to get the end of the process and that took five seconds so maybe we want this bit here to take 10 seconds so five plus 10 is 15 obviously we press those two there we can drag our cursor all the way back to the start and press play and you can watch your, your time lapse in the time that it's going to actually take so this first movement should take five seconds and the next bit should take 10. So as you can see, it's cruising down here and then it picks up and it zooms all the way out. The bunnies go back to the normal speed and everything's pretty cool from there. So from here, you just go ahead and press render camera path. Uh, these are my settings here. I'm not sure exactly what default comes to. You might need uh, this bit down here. So I'm going to copy this and, uh, you know, share that for you guys because you may need this um, little part just in here. So I'll make sure that's in the description as well. You can just paste that in there. And then we can just zoom up and then come to your outpouring path and just wherever you want to save it. Click render. It's going to come into a queue and just like this. And then from there, so you can you can press show preview, but I wouldn't do it. It's going to make this take so much longer than what it actually needs to. Um, you can obviously press pause or cancel. Um, I just normally let it go. It gives you an estimated time and the time is actually rendered for. So once it's rendered out all of your frames, from there you can just go ahead and find your file and put in your videos or share it or do whatever the hell you want with it basically. Um, but if you guys are having a lot of trouble with getting your uh, like a lot of lag and things in your videos. I'll show you guys a quick little tip on how you can do that. So inside here, inside your installations, come across to your fabric loader, click these three dots, press, press edit, come down to more options. And down in here, as you guys can see just here, we've got 10 gig allocated to uh, replay mode, like to the fabric API. You guys would have two as a standard. So if you have a lot of a lot of gigs, I have 32 gigs on my computer so I can allocate more RAM. Um, so if you, you know, you had 16 gigs, maybe you might put it in like six gigs or something. So that there will save you on like a lot of lag and issues with that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all we have for today's video guys. So if you have enjoyed this all, don't forget that like button, subscribe and the notification bell all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next video later